whatever you want to call it. Uh, we've got freeze warnings, we've got freeze watches, and you see those. It's not just this morning, though. Tomorrow morning, it's going to be another cold start as well. So if you are breaking out that winter gear, well, just go ahead and keep it out. This is what it's looking like. Temperatures in Chicago right now in the lower 30. Cincinnati, 28 for you. I'm shivering just thinking about it. Raleigh, Atlanta, both in the mid 40s. So for tomorrow, we're going to see that number go up. More than 100 million people below freezing. Now by Friday, we're seeing that 84 million, but watch the areas that are stuck below freezing this entire time, especially across the, in the Northeast. You've got that tomorrow, you've got that Friday morning, and you've got that heading into Saturday morning across portions of the Appalachians as well. What's going on? Well, we've got a nice dip in the jet stream, and that is allowing all that cold air to funnel southward, and it's sticking around. We're really, this is a, a gigantic kind of pattern that we've got encompassing much of the eastern portions of the country. So you're going to be stuck with those below average temperatures for a little while. Here's tomorrow, 5 to 15 degrees below average in cities like uh, Nashville and Pittsburgh. As you look closer to the eastern coast, highs 10 to 20 degrees below average. So places like Charleston, it's going to be a chilly time for you. Your highs tomorrow in the 50s for a lot of us. Uh, in fact, Raleigh, you're not even making it out of the 40s. So it is a cold time there, Jordan.